Juggling was one of the first skills I learned, deliberately. It was a PE task in high school. 20 minutes every day for 10 days. That was over five years ago now. And today I'm going to learn how to juggle with four balls. Let's set the milestone as 30 consecutive throws. This is day one. Okay, this is not working. So apparently, I've been doing it all wrong. What's meant to happen is this. There are three basic juggling patterns. Cascade, where each ball is thrown to the opposite hand. Fountain, where each hand independently juggles its balls. And shower, where the balls follow a circular path. Now I was previously using the cascade pattern, and this is a really common mistake among beginners. The cascade pattern is for an odd number of balls, three, five, seven, and the fountain pattern for even. Of course, if you're a pro, then these rules don't really apply to you. Anyways, I'm a beginner, so let's get back to practicing. Notice how the four ball fountain pattern is really two separate activities going on at once. So the best way to improve would just be to practice the motion in each hand. Okay, let's try them together. So at this point, I was improving, but I couldn't really get past 12 throws. The major issues were the balls knocking into each other, going astray, or me losing my rhythm. If we look at the clip slowed down, you can see that the throws for my right hand are quite steady, remaining in that box, but the small errors in my left hand compound and eventually the ball goes out of my reach. Basically, my non-dominant hand is still crap and it's back to the chopping board. Okay, I just counted. That was 30. I'm so happy. Yes, we finally did it. So I found these baby avocados at home and they're tiny. Well, let's see if I can juggle with them. Baby, can you move around the rhythm so we can't get with the It. No more juggling. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.